Good morning and welcome to a new vlog. If I sound tired and unwell, it's because I got off a flight last night and I'm not feeling my best. I really wanted to go to a blaze class this morning at the gym and there was just no way. Snooze the alarms, needed to sleep. Sleep is so much more important for you. But I really wanted to do a video that was a come to work with me video. So I'm probably not gonna show you like the boring things where I'm like editing for hours on end, but Maybe I'll show you a bit of that, but I wanted to show you like the fun out and about when I'm not just sat at my desk. So I'm starting the day with a meeting. I've actually just been doing some of that boring work now. <laughs> just been organizing some labels to print some stuff. I basically went to New York and someone that I work with absolutely loves the truffles from Milk Bar. So I bought her some of those. So I'm just gonna go and post those at the post office then have some parcels to take back, some little admin. Then I'm gonna walk over to Mayfair for actually what I think might be one of my first meetings of 2023. I think this is my first meeting of 2023, which is really, really exciting. So let's do that first. House is a mess, you know, when you get back from a trip and it's like, honestly a mess. My boyfriend's things are everywhere. But I did get a new coat. I actually ordered this for my New York trip. I'm so sad it didn't arrive in time, but it's fine because I got back to a very, very cold England. So, I'm just trying to decide if I wear it today. I mean, in true me fashion, I'm running very late and I always seem to do these coat hauls when I'm running really late. I just don't know if it's gonna keep me warm enough and it's very, 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 very cold outside. So I might just go and put like my usual black coat on. But then again, now it's on, I really like it. What do you think? Okay, I need to grab my stuff, go to the post office and get walking to Mayfair. First meeting spot today. Let's go. Oh yeah, look at all that truffle. Thank you so much. Shrimp tempura is a game changer. Hello, it is chilly in London. So ordinarily I would always try and do like a breakfast, lunch and dinner kind of event and meet situation. But today it was actually just a quick in and out. Well, it was like a nice two hour lunch meeting but I need to get back now because I need to take some more stuff to the post office and it was just a really nice meeting so I basically met with a client who I've done lots of work with over the year and we were just having a talk about things we can do together this year so really exciting and we went to Rocco which is one of my favourite Japanese spots in London so just walking home now and the sun is shining but it's freezing. I bought these boots and they are so good for like walking to meetings but then they still look smart when I get there. The lunch catch-ups are definitely a perk of the job but then I need to go home and do actual work as well. I'm sure if you've followed for a while you will probably know that I walk everywhere. I really try to walk everywhere. I think it's the best way to see a city but also I'm super productive when I'm walking whether I'm listening to a podcast taking calls that I need to take. I always give people the timings when I'm walking somewhere, but also it's good for the environment, it's good for my purse, and it's also good for my muddy, muddy? Body, mind, and soul as well. So yeah, I literally try walk anywhere I possibly can. Saves me money and gets my steps in. So I'm currently just listening to a podcast about manifestation. So I'm home and I actually brought Matt some bagels back from New York and he saved me half. But I was saying, these are the everything bagels from Leon Bagels by the way. Matt is doing an injustice to the bagels because they need to have like bacon and egg. But Matt cooked it and realised that we didn't have anything in the fridge. No butter. No butter, but yeah, I don't think, no it needs to be like a cream cheese. I'm going to go and get us some cream cheese or some egg so we can have the rest ones. I brought them back. This is dedication to the bagel. Anyway. Next stop, and I know this looks like I've had a really entertaining day, which I have, but I, I have a lot of stuff to do tonight. I have a lot of videos to edit. I'm actually gonna have a massage, a little bit of self-care after my flight. I'm having a massage via the Urban app. I have been an Urban customer for, oh my gosh, how long have I been getting massages from them? Like two years now? Probably longer. It's so easy to use the app and you get to choose 
your masseuse so you could go for like a sports massage a deep tissue massage lymphatic drainage a couple's massage you can also buy gift vouchers from 20 pounds all the way up to full treatment so it's a really nice way to treat yourself or someone else if you are thinking of valentine's day coming up so i'm gonna have a really nice moment of calm self-care moment before doing more work tonight but first i need to tidy this house up before the masseuse comes and i am going to just quickly unbox some packages I need to do more massages. I used to just every four weeks, I was so good at it. And then, no, I completely got out of the rhythm, to be honest, which is not good when my legs are always this sore. That was so good. I love how it says, help your practitioner improve and grow their business by giving them a rating. Because after all, it's like helping them grow their small business. Julie was amazing. She will be getting a five star review. That was my idea of a perfect night. Look at me. So now I need to hydrate. Julie, my therapist, was just amazing. The attention to detail in the places that it needed. We're talking getting all the knots out, getting my leg out, really stretching it. She knew that I needed a really deep massage. So I'm definitely going to book one of those actually as a couple's massage for Matt and I for Valentine's Day. But great idea. If you are looking for a gift for someone, whether it's Valentine's, Galentine's, Palentine's, then I'm going to leave a link below. And I actually have a code so you can get some discount as well. So that was amazing. Urban, you are fantastic. Just the way to start the working week. Okay, so I'm going to open some of these parcels that I meant to open earlier. So I saw the doorbell go a lot while I was out and Matt very kindly answered the door for me. Oh my goodness. It says brighten up your January with our mood enhancing self care saviors. This is my beauty space NK. I love this brand so, so, so much. Oh my goodness. My skin is feeling quite dry right now, so that would be amazing. Neom, absolutely fantastic. Oh my goodness. Aveda hair masks, one of my favorites how many incredible products do they stock this is like everything i need to continue the self-care evening of dreams perfect night sleep diffuser i've actually been popping some meditation on to try and help me sleep so that's incredible and then i got these which i've actually been using for quite some time but these are new ones oh my goodness so you basically i've shown these on instagram stories a lot you basically pop them in your drink drop them and fizz and do you want to see what I just had for my dinner? Peanut butter m &Ms. I'm just like, time of the month, loving chocolate. I'm just kind of listening to my body. So this could not have come at a better time. Everything I mention, I will link below, by the way. I'm so, so, so grateful that brands send me things and I will only ever feature things that I truly, genuinely love. So hopefully you guys know that by now. So cute. This has been so beautifully wrapped. The thought and care and love that goes into these. Oh, how lovely. I remember Lydia Mellon talking about this years ago, and when Lydia speaks about a product, she just go and buy it. And she spoke about liquid gold, and I remember being like, I need the liquid gold. The QVC are saying that this is available on a special offer at QVC. QVC do great deals. They always do like great Elemis deals, Elizabeth Arden, Clinique, so many of my favorite beauty brands on there. I also ordered these and I'm just so happy that they arrived because I am seriously number one fan of any homeware and I just feel like, look how nice they look with the marble. I'm very excited to like have a dinner party and serve canapes and snacks on them. I did also get this color but I think I prefer this one. What do you guys think? I'll link all of his stuff below anyway. I am excited. Also, oh my goodness, obviously I've been away for quite a while, over two weeks. I got back to lots and lots of exciting things that like I ordered before I went away. <sighs> you guys probably saw on my New Year's Eve vlog, I am obsessed with our uni pizza oven. The only thing I need to do, and I'm kind of anxious about this, I need a cover for it. I think I'm gonna order one, I've had a look. I can get one on Harrods because it's currently outside in our outdoor cupboard and it was an expensive piece of kit. So I really, 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 don't want that to get like rusty. But I have the legit actual pizza peel from Uni and wait for it. If you have the Uni and you're having a lazy night and you maybe can't find the gas or something, or you just don't have the Uni but you want to make pizzas at home, they very kindly sent me the pizza steel and you actually use this in your home oven. So you could obviously use this 
with my actual Uni Outdoor Pizza Oven, which by the way is like the best thing I've ever had. I don't know why I didn't just get it out of the box and use it sooner, but I was kind of scared. And look at this one. How incredible is this? So you put this in your actual oven, like the oven behind me, and then we can have the Uni Effect. Made from commercial strand 430 grade stainless steel, provides a textured heat retaining surface that helps you make restaurant quality pizzas at home. So now we can use the oven or we can use the uni oven. So I think that is genius and we're gonna have to host a pizza party soon, I think. Another one, last but not least, and then I need to actually tidy my house. I should probably tell you that I got some new Elemis bits, some top ups of my favorites and some new stuff. But I do have an Elemis code. It's not an ad on this video, but I have worked with them before and it is a personalized promo code. And I'm so happy, so I had to share it with my YouTube family. 25% off Elemis. I know, don't walk, run. And it includes the cleansing balm. I'm sure you guys know, like I got all the girls in the US hooked on this. It actually made me really excited. Christina and I were obviously sharing a hotel room and we both just had our little cleansing balms sat there in the bathroom. And I was like, I hang around with the right people. This is a perfect lazy person's cleansing balm. Works on eye makeup. I need to actually go use it now. Pop it all over your skin. I'm taking it back to basics of skincare because my skin has just been so sore recently. Like I had this allergy dermatitis and I'm feeling so much better. Now I've gone back to just using this. Day and night, calm my skin, soothe the skin. So, so, so good. They do a rose one as well which is equally divine. Speaking of rose, you can get the Pro Collagen Rose Facial Oil for various reasons. This is very, very, very close to my heart. Some very special ladies in my life adore and love Elemis Serums. <gasps> so this, like, even just the smell of it makes me nostalgic and makes me happy. And it's just an epic, epic product. Also great for travel. Something I haven't used yet and I can't wait because my stepdad is truly obsessed with Elemis products for after he's been running. These are Cellutox Herbal Bath Synergy, Cellulite and Body Cleansing Bath Therapy. Now Elemis do amazing like cooling body lotion and a bath soak for sore muscles. Stepdad is obsessed, I'm obsessed and I can't wait to use that next. Alongside this targeted toning body moisturizer, I love anything like this. This is how I flew the bagels home, Ziploc bags. And I literally brought eight of them back. Leon's bagels and Brooklyn bagels. So happy about this. You can go firmly inside my lovely bread bin. Also just popping some fruit away. Supercharge your smoothies with Vita Coco. They basically sent an odd box whilst I was away with all of this gorgeous fruit and the idea is that, you know, the fruit isn't perfectly shaped or sized and can have like marks and stuff on it but it's still delicious and it's still edible and I love that. So nice little fresh, healthy, set the intentions. Looks cute with the new trade, huh? I feel like a fun part of my job is organising everything and getting everything out of boxes and starting to try. Hey, I have just done a blaze class, managed to actually make it out of bed today. That felt great and now I am just on Regent Street. Finally get to see my bestie today. I feel like it's been so long, it's just been over two weeks. I did wash my hair this morning. It was meant to rain, so I just put it in a low bun. Also the scarf does not go with the coat, I know, but it's cold. I think I can see Emily. I think I can see her. So we're just heading to the anthropology press day to start the day, which is exciting. Oh, I can see her. Here we are. Silky number we absolutely love. Look who I'm with. I was like, is it Emily? Yes, it was you. This is so beautiful. This is getting me in the mood for summer. Oh, how gorgeous. Oh, they have this incredible range. I absolutely love this. We want to do a pottery class. It's like my dream date day or bestie day where we just do pottery. Oh, we could just buy these ones instead. How stunning. I actually love this design. I think my favourite would be this colour. It's frilly cushions. I'm very much into this frilly cushion vibe. I just saying we love anything pink. And how cute is this mug? And then they have a green version. That's so sweet. I do love this one though. It's reminding me of Mr. Men. Yes, I know exactly. <laughs> 
my vibe, all of this kind of like neutral, and then you come in with the gorgeous like British roseness. I have to say, oh my gosh, look. <gasps> we need this. I know. We need it. Also, I like this. I don't know why it's storing it, but it's really nice. We'll be going straight on my Valentine's wish list. I really want this. Like, would this be a towel rail or is it for Lou Roll? Curtains. Oh my god, so I got it completely wrong. Oh my gosh, but I want that for, this I don't know. The hand towel. Oh yeah. But I like this one. Although I do like this one as well. These for upcoming weddings. Pink. Look at these, they have the glasses with like a really nice pink tint. They're beautiful, aren't they? Mm, I love the yellow actually. Yeah, very spring summer like. My favorite piece from the day, I absolutely love it. Hi, oh, Regent Street, here we go. Favorite chocolate spot. Oh, I saw a ladder rack in New York, I was so excited. <laughs> Okay, I want some contact ones, I think. Good. This is how frizzy my hair is. Here she is! Hello. So we popped into Anthropology Press Day together, which was so beautiful. I want all the homeware. You guys probably know I'm like an OG anthropology lover, obsessive. So it's really nice to see what is coming in spring, summer. And then when Emily and I are together, we have to go to Carpo. You know why? Because our periods have sunk up. We need chocolate. So we need chocolate. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. We're getting chocolate. And now we have this in Bombay Hodge already. It was so short I'm but sweet. I'm to her meeting. And then I have a lunch meeting. And then I'm going home to, when I'm gonna uh, miss you. to take, put some heat pads on my lower back. <laughs> well, I have a lunch meeting and then I actually have a lunch event, a reformer event, like reformer Pilates. And I wish Emily was coming, but period pains. I am too poorly can, to go on a reformer today. Can hurt. So instead we have to depart with chocolate. Now it's time for a class with a lovely skincare brand. So lunch was amazing. That was a meeting, catching up with a client who's actually just got back from maternity leave and we we're talking about some things we can do this year. Also another great chance to try a restaurant I've always wanted to try. We went to a place called Milk in Soho. Then I got to see Emily, which was so lovely. Now I just got to psych up and one of my favorite brands that's actually just come over from the US and I saw them in CVS on my trip to New York and Miami. So I got very excited are hosting a reformer class. I'm gonna go to do some reformer Pilates, which is one of my favorite self-care things. Very lucky that I get to try these events with brands. Class done, that was really, really good, but my legs are so shaky from doing blades this morning first. And then I had a really nice smoothie after. I actually had two, I had a green one and a strawberry one. I feel very spoiled, so I'm actually heading over for a facial, which is so exciting to learn about a skincare brand, Melon and Gats, who I discovered in New York years ago in a hotel, and so cool that I just actually saw them in a pharmacy in New York three, two days ago, and now I'm heading for a facial at Liberty London. It's my first ever facial at Liberty London, so what a way to end the day, an incredible day. And I've got chocolate in my bag from Carpo, and I got to see Emily today, so feeling very blessed. Gonna have a full night of editing ahead with nice, fresh skin. This is where I went in New York literally a few days ago and they have it in Liberty. How incredible. These are some of the products that are going to be used in my facial. Okay, so this is really great. I used this before. I also love their candles. And this is one of my favorite products from the brand. It's so, so, so good for hydrating the body all over. Just like that, fresh, glowy skin. Oh my gosh. I was clearly jet lagged, I fell asleep. We went through my skin and they said it's very dehydrated. 
so that was incredible good morning i am so sorry about how tired i look and i also have just lip balm on this morning but i was up last night until 2am editing oh, here she is i was literally just about to intro my vlog for the day and then there you are good morning. i was just telling the vlog how tired i am and how exhausted Aww. i look um because i didn't you get to sleep till 5am yeah, I that, that's feel not good. It. That's painful. No, that's painful. But we're in Hyde Park. Oh, the sun I is just, not shining, but it's still a beautiful day. I just walked in from a side of the park that I never come through. It's a nice side, though. I, I like that yeah. side. But you know how in movies in like Central Park, they're like the park. Oh, you the the oh yeah, park that's like you were dark. in the depths. I was in the Emily park. was in Paddington. She was in like the depths, but in autumn, that's the prettiest park. Oh, so stunning. Yes, that's where they have the horses. I, I keep being told off for saying stunning on my vlogs. Can't I say it too much when we both say it? It's I stunning. Say stunning. Oh, the time. Someone was like, take a shot every time M says stunning, and yeah. I count it like a hundred <laughs> times. So it's a stunning day. We are going to get some lunch, and oh, then so we have a meeting. So let's do this. Okay, so here's my lunch date today. Not technically a working lunch, a pre-work friendship lunch. Yeah. And Emily copied me. I inspired her. Tell them what we got. And um, we got kale salad, added corn. I've been waiting to try this for months. It's yeah. Been the last time. I get it like every time I come. Sometimes I come here three times a week. It's a problem. I just love it. Let's go. So I so said goodbye to Emily. I'm now stuck in the rain always my meetings today have been at soho house so i couldn't film but did have great matcha lunch was amazing then emily and i went into goyard because she bought a bag which i'm sure she'll show you on her vlog it was very cute very nice and then what did i do yeah i've had two meetings and now i actually have an event it's another skincare event it's like a fun week of events heading to like a pop-up with ole so it's going to be quite sciencey which i'm excited about i love to learn about the brands so that is where I'm heading now. Also, can I just say, I'm sorry I'm so disheveled on this vlog. Welcome back to England. So with Ole, we even have a lab coat and we have this hydrating drink, which I have drank. Like a leaky bucket, especially in the winter when it gets quite dry. So yes, you want to add hydration to top up that bucket, but why wouldn't you try and also want to plug the holes and repair the bucket so it can actually hold the hydration you're putting in. And that's what we mean by complete moisture management. So we're not just looking at hydration, we're looking at how can we really repair and strengthen the skin so all that hydration stays where we put it. Hello, so we just walked over from Greek Street at the Ole event, which was really great. Like they had scientists there learning about the science of skincare makes me really excited. Then we had a muffin and we had some early dinner and then I just got changed. We're just at Pavilion, which is a members club in Knightsbridge. Great. They have like showers and stuff in here. I love it with Bamford. So came and just freshening myself up, just gonna quickly freshen up my makeup. And then we are heading over to the Bulgari Hotel tonight because, oh my goodness, I can't believe it, but I've been invited to a runway show. I'm not a bride, but my friend who's coming with Natalia, she is a bride-to-be, and hopefully I will be one day. And Berta is like my favourite brand ever for bridal things, well, that I've seen so far. I've been pinning them on Pinterest for years. The designer's going to be there, and I cannot wait to watch. Just being for a workout, had a shower. Skin is glowing, skin power. And I'm waiting. I'm gonna actually have some soup because I'm very, very hungry, but I love it in here. Such a chill vibe. Is it gonna work? Last night was amazing, but it's just sensational. And one of the coolest things about my job that I'm so grateful for is that I get to take people I love to incredible things. So, like, my friend that came with me is a royal to be, and now she's found 
dress code for later. A dream tiara and a dream wedding dress for the after party. So we're going to go do a little try on with the brand because I just absolutely look better. So I'm very, very excited for her. So yeah, we just had such a lovely girls' night and it was so great to be able to introduce her to a brand. So I'm going to get on with a little bit of editing and eat before my eating. that this is my route home. How inspiring and gorgeous. I am back, so I did two meetings today and I also took a client call and then I just sat and did work. No rest for the weekend. Now I am heading out to dinner, but it's kind of a working dinner. I'm basically creating some content for a brand, but the coolest thing about it is I get to take some friends along with me. And I would say another favorite part of my job is that I get to do these things these incredible things and I get to take people that I love along with me. I know I mentioned that yesterday but it's really nice that I get to treat my friends to a really lovely dinner and a really lovely evening and kind of roll that in with work and tie that in. For me, giving back to the people around me just means so much. So really excited to eat, get some content, then I will spend this weekend actually editing everything together, sending it over to the client for Monday and then I also still have so many YouTube videos to edit. I'm loving it. I'm loving this YouTube hype. But I still have a lot to edit from my trip to New York because I did seven videos on that trip, like New York and Miami. So we're all good. But there are a lot of hours of editing that weren't in this vlog because whilst it's fun going for facials and running around London doing amazing events, it's very pinch me, it's amazing. I then have to get home and sit and do the actual work. So let's head to dinner. I'm wearing a knit dress, which I'm excited about because I'm comfy, meaning more room for food. you know it was a successful dinner when your belly is so full your heart is so full and you have a pineapple on your head matt how good was the food mm -hmm. and it was just a dream it was so 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 good oh my gosh but we're so tired now i just got back to some parcels i cannot wait to show you it's quite late i'm just here opening parcels <gasps> let me do you a, li a little a little preview i cannot wait to show you what's inside this but I might be trying on some wedding dresses tomorrow, so maybe you'll see it in that vlog. Oh my goodness, I'm shocked, I'm excited, I can't believe it. I'm so bloated. <laughs> Dinner was just amazing, honestly. And you will you probably realised it was Christina, whose bachelorette I was on, which is so nice. I mean, I've been like without her for a week while I was in New York, and I was like, I need to see you the day that we both get back. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. And I just couldn't hide it basically got the delivery of my dreams which i'm going to show you in the next vlog look at the color say is oh my goodness look at this i'm so excited and as you can see by my eyes i am so tired i'm gonna edit this vlog together and then go to bed and then all weekend i'm gonna edit these videos so hopefully you enjoyed coming along for a working week with me where we kind of did some events and you know Things are back into the swing, slowly. January's always slow, but you know, you saw a few meetings and a few events, and thank you so much for coming along with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I love my job. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful I get to do things with the people I love. I'm grateful I get to share it with you. And I just want to say thank you if you made it this far. If you made it this far, comment below and write sushi because it means you made it this far. Bonus points if you comment below and tell me your favorite type of sushi. Matt, what's your favorite type of sushi? Like, what do you like in your sushi? What's your best a, sushi? I love spicy tuna. Matt loves a spicy tuna. I thought he was going to say salmon. Salmon in Philadelphia. Spicy salmon's good, yeah. Spicy salmon, not just salmon in Philadelphia. Uh, mm, that's good as well. A little, a little bit of spice, that's something too. It's the wine talking. No one would ever have tuna over salmon, no? I mean, I don't like salmon, but Matt, choosing tuna over salmon. The spice cheese, the wagyu one was very good tonight, but I, I'm so basic. Like my favorite kind of sushi is like a prawn tempura. We didn't get a prawn tempura sushi tonight. Actually, yeah. What a shame. 
we'll have to go back but basically thank you for coming along for a week with me well like four days with me <laughs> it was really nice to have you and i appreciate you so 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 much if you made it this far because i know it's a long vlog hope you're enjoying the vlogs let me know if you are maybe you don't let me know if you aren't i'd rather we were kind on this channel and i will see you guys for the next one all my love guys